Now, one person has been confirmed dead in the Tatsinga clashes in the northern region. This follows Friday night's disturbance sparked by gunshots fired. The municipal NADMO director confirmed that the deceased, Al Hassan Abbas, is 25 years old. Meanwhile, one more person has been injured and three more arrested, bringing the total number of arrests to five. According to the police, six more houses were burnt this morning after the regional minister's visit to the area. Correspondent Martina Bugri has been speaking with the Northern Region Police PRO DSP Yusuf Mohammed Tanko. Today, 26th of January 2020, at about 8 a.m., whilst police patrols were ongoing at Patenga in the Gushegu district, information came through that some houses had been put on fire at the blind side of security. The men quickly moved to the area where they met about 20 young men, some of them wielding AK-47 rifles and others wielding single barrel guns. As soon as they sensed the approach of the police, they shot towards the police, compelling the officers to also return fire. One person was shot dead, another sustained gunshot wounds, and three others were arrested. Five weapons retrieved. The injured has been taken to hospital where he is receiving treatment. The dead has been conveyed to the hospital whilst the arrested have been detained to assist in further investigations. Police and military presence will continue to be on the ground and will work to ensure that innocent persons are protected. Everything will be done to ensure life returns to normalcy in the community. Any person who has any information on the activities of persons within the community and beyond which is threatening peace in the community, should do well and report same to security on the ground for necessary action to be taken. The municipal director of NADMO in the area, Mohamed Inusa, confirmed to Joy News that several women and children are seeking shelter at the Gushegu Health Center whilst others have left the town. He also said that NADMO would not be able to do any assessment until the tension dies down. But it's, it's not easy. In fact, uh, this morning it just started from uh, this in the palace. They started shooting, burning houses. So the children and women, so they ran through the this is the clinic. They they, they 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 shoot one man dead, and the other one too. They are sending him to this in to Gishigo for a uh, treatment. So it's not easy. People are running here and there. The women and children carrying their belongings to. Uh, wherever they can go and secure themselves. So in fact, it's not easy in Patinga, getting to it. You, but you, um, you are the head of NADMO. Is there a way you Minister, can do the, the assessment now, or it will have as to as be? Now, as of now, we can't do anything because it, 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 there's this tension. We can't do anything unless uh, we give it, give it time. So I will say, if it is time, we can do some assessment. Okay. Uh, and your name, sir. We're going to Martina Bugri to give us an update on what is going on in the area now. Good morning, Martina. Good morning, Eniwa. Has calm been restored to the area? Yes, calm is restored, but the whole town is deserted. People two hours yesterday were moving out of the area because of um, the way they had restored calm and it is generated again and so several people have deserted the whole town the whole town is a ghost town this has become an issue that the chief of the area is calling on the residents to return because the the, the security have been able to restore calm and the place is, is calm and normal again but people are a bit uh, hesitant because they think that the, the security is not too good on the ground. That's what I gather. And so they are waiting to see what will happen before they, they come in. Okay, now you mentioned that the chief is um, pleading for the residents to come back into town. Yes, exactly so. Um, it says that several people the, the mass movement started um on saturday evening 
and throughout yesterday people were moving out and so the whole town you go into the town and the whole town is deserted nobody is in the town and so he thinks that it's about time he lets the whole world know that there is peace in the area and so the people should return back home martina but the thing about peace is that peace because there is no one there or will there be peace even when people have returned what i gather is security have been beefed up they have a they have reinforcements and so the numbers have increased and the whole place is secured Okay, so you mean the police presence has increased in the town? Exactly, sir. Okay, do you have any idea by how many? That they won't disclose. They're not disclosing how many more police they have been dispatched? They won't disclose how many uh, security personnel are on the ground. But what we get now is they have enough men to contain any situation. Um, right, do you know where the people in the town have gone to? Several have fled to nearby communities, and those who have relatives in Yendi, Kushegu Township, and surrounding communities have moved to these areas. Okay, well, the NADMO director mentioned that he couldn't do anything about the situation until calm had been restored. Have you heard anything from him now that calm has been restored? What, what I gather is that they will begin the assessment um, today, and so when we are in the, on the ground again, we would speak to him and get what they have and how they are going to mobilize resources to begin uh, helping those who are here. Um, okay, so when NADMO comes, what kind of work is needed in the area? If you can just paint a picture of us. I can see um, that some buildings have had their walls broken um, and other things like that. But what kind of help is needed immediately? People's homes were, were destroyed, and so deep, when they return, they will have no place to sleep, and so they will need shelter, they would need food, because several food stuffs were destroyed, like yam, guinea corn, maize, and um, those that were harvested in bands were burnt down, and so they would also need food, they would need clothing as well. So these are the basic things that they would need. Okay. Well, Martina, we hope that you can reach out to the NADMO director and get his thoughts on what we can expect in subsequent bulletins. But thank you very much for joining us and for bringing us that update. Um, and